So you want big arms guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a secret that a lot of big YouTubers out there actually haven't told anyone just yet. When I reveal this secret, it's going to build your shoulders, your biceps, and your triceps in many different ways. It's really simple, but a lot of people just don't talk about it. In other words, not the movement, the rotation of your wrist can hit your bicep, your tricep, your shoulders in different ways that a lot of people really don't know about. And it's a simple movement, simple different types of movements that's gonna hit your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, and really make them big and round. Here are just a couple examples of how you're gonna move your wrist when you're hitting your biceps. We all love hitting biceps, but doing arm curls for the rest of your life, you can't expect to get big arms. There are two parts of your biceps and you're gonna have to hit them. And the way you're gonna hit them is by changing your wrist rotation. Changing your wrist rotation is gonna allow you to round your biceps. So for instance, you're gonna be doing hammer curls, you're gonna hit more of the outside. You're gonna be doing regular curls, you're gonna hit more of the inside. You really want round biceps, you gotta hit both parts. A couple of these exercises that I'm showing you guys is right now are just another way of hitting your biceps by changing your wrist rotation. So if you guys have been lifting for some time now, you know there's three parts to the shoulder, the front delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. To hit different parts of that shoulder, there's also a rotator cuff that you can strengthen, but to hit different parts of that shoulder, you're gonna have to do different types of exercises by changing your wrist up. Here are also a couple examples on how it can hit your shoulders. As you are seeing in a couple of these examples, you can hit your front delt in different ways, your rear delt, your, your side delt, and really you could even do compound movements that hit both the side and the rear delt, or the front and the side delt. It's really depending on the exercise you're doing and how you change your wrist rotating. If you're like me guys and you want to go into physique bodybuilding, you're going to want to build those round shoulders, especially those side delts. What this is going to allow you to do is get that V taper when you're doing your posing. So you should also hit your rear delts when you're doing that back posing to get that V taper as well. A lot of people do neglect hitting shoulders. I say take a day to hit shoulders. So for instance, doing a day shoulders and traps. And some people don't even hit shoulders because they say or you already hit it when you do chest or you already hit it when you do back. And yes, you do hit your shoulders when you do chest or back. But if you really want your shoulders to stand out and to get that V taper and be broader up top, you're going to have to dedicate a day to hit your shoulders. So just that little tip that I told you guys about changing the wrist rotation is really going to be helpful when you're hitting your shoulders because when you hit your shoulders, there's a rotator cuff in there. So you're always rotating your shoulders. So if you rotate something, it's always going to help you hit your shoulder because your shoulder has a rotator cuff and it's going to hit every single part of that muscle. So there's a front delt, side delt, rear delt, but there's all little muscles in between those that you want to hit in order to get those round, broad shoulders. Just a little fact for you guys, so your tricep is two thirds of your arm if you didn't know that already. And what that's gonna do is pretty much you gotta hit your triceps guys if you want big arms. Doing pull downs with different variations by changing your wrist rotation will allow you to build those big triceps. So as you guys are seeing in these examples, when you hit your triceps by rotating your wrist in different ways, it will hit your tricep in different ways. And it will allow you to get full contraction of the muscle, uh, full strengthening and just make that muscle, that tricep a lot rounder and fuller than it normally is. Of course, wrist rotation is not the only thing that's going to make you have big arms, but it's definitely key to building round delts, to building round biceps, to building round triceps, to really building muscle in general. So this is just a little secret that a lot of people don't talk about. And really, it's something simple, but something people should know when they're working out, when they're bodybuilding, whatever it is they do. When it comes to fitness, um, especially changing your wrist rotation will allow you to hit the muscles differently, allow you to make them more round, allow them to be bigger, everything guys. So if you really want big arms, incorporate that into your workouts. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy more of these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Once again, please leave a like below, come subscribe, and get aesthetic.